questions from people? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So we'll do two, three questions from here and then we'll launch the book and then we'll have Kangana has to leave and then I'll be here to sign the books. So please queue up. No pictures, just simple. They'll tell you how the signing works. Check okay, this. question answers. We'll get it started, Chetan. Huh? First launch, then Q&A, sir. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm okay. We've held, a, we've held the launch. We will quickly, just two questions, just two questions, and we'll do the launch. We'll have to bring it in the front. Yeah, okay. Lana padega, sir. Wo block ho jayega, isliye do questions, do sawal. Do, teen sawal kar lete, chote chote. Yeah. I've answered many questions, so maybe Kangana can answer a few. Kangana, we're getting it rolling. This time, we've got the hard copy books over here. There are also e-books now available. What are your comments on your satisfaction with e-books or with uh, physical books? What's your take on that? Well, I come from little old school. I love physical <laughs> books. The e-books are not bad either. When you're traveling, you can't carry a lot of them together. But it, my eyes start to hurt after a while with the light and all of that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll throw it open. Just one more from the media. Two more from the media. Give them a mic, no? Mm. Uh, I just read the excerpt that was put out, uh, which is about the waxing scene. And uh, you kind of describe the waxing scene and it's pretty close to real life. And at the end, you say something on the lines of how uh, Radhika would have preferred lashes that they give in Saudi Arabia to waxing. Do you think that's a very dangerous comparison to make? It's just a joke. Because she feels, because she's never had waxing done, so when she gets it done, she feels like she's getting lashes in Saudi Arabia, uh, which they give to us. So it's just a joke. But yeah, it's okay. I take creative liberties, so it's just that. Any questions for Kangana? You have one question on the back. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. Hi, sir. My name is Gauri. That's nice. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my nice. question Thanks. is that. Uh, you have created a cra you. character who is feminist and uh, free, uh, who is a free girl. So how do you uh, uh, explain the character to, be, uh, to uh, accept a uh, ma arranged marriage proposal? I just read the book. You will see what's going on. I, I, can't, I don't want to reveal much about the book. Yeah. We'll take one from the right, one from the left now. And we'll sum it up. Hi Jaitan, congratulations for your book. I have been to two launches before as well and many congratulations. Coming straight to the question. Uh, all your books have become really successful. Uh, do you feel the pressure? You know, when every time there's a book launch, everyone yeah, yeah. is aware it's going to be I super. I do, I do. But this time after Kangna said she loved the book, I was not so worried. But do you generally but feel the pressure when you're writing? Until she had the book, I was worried. I do feel pressure, especially when I'm writing it and yeah. when I'm taking such a risky subject, I do. Okay. Guys, you have any questions for Kangana? Then yes, she has yeah. to go. Okay. Uh, Kangana, uh, you being a successful woman, how difficult is it to be in a relationship with another successful man who is from the same industry? Like, how difficult is that? Like I said, you know, um, I just explained that equations change. When you're not successful enough, then you are devalued. And when you become successful, then there is a competition spirit that creeps into you, into both of you. And I don't know if it is actually about the profession because like I said, I've dated a guy who's not from the same profession as well, but there was this constant tension between us every time matter of monies came up, filing tax, or even one dress of mine, how much it costs, you know, and uh, everything was like as if I was trying to hide just to not, you know, like literally walking on eggshells, not to, you know, hurt egos, but it's very hard. Um, yeah, it's very hard to find someone who can hold his own before you when you're so successful. Kangana, you have this the image. I've, what I've seen in your talks and speeches is like you're this feminist and today you're coming across as really like just a simple girl who needs love, isn't it? And can you connect the two? Can you be that and a feminist together? Because I think well, girls here want to know. No, I think I, I personally feel that how you have given this very beautiful name to feminism. You, he has actually changed feminism into humanism. The first day he came to me, he said that there is nothing called feminism. It's humanism. If you're a human, you know, you would consider other human as well. And as far as a convenient uh, life that I want somebody to do up my uh, laundry and, you know, um, cook food for me and iron my clothes, you know, that even women need that sort of luxury. It's not that we don't, you know, so in the name of, you know, um, so I think that name that you've given, feminism, humanism, I completely agree with. 
And uh, I think what I want to tell women is that I think for centuries now women have been exploited in the name of sacrifice that, you know, um, if you're a nice woman and if you are a, uh, if you are, if you are a fair uh, woman, you know, you would sacrifice your services in the name of family and children. I think there's nothing called sacrifice. If a woman contributes to a family and builds up a family together with a man and invest in his career and lets him build his career for their better future, it's a contribution, it's a full-time job. If I today, I leave my job and decide to be a housewife, that doesn't mean I'm sacrificed, because sacrifice doesn't demand, demand anything in return, right? So I feel housewives are not given their respect every time, at least in my experience, a housewife asks for money, you know, she's, she's not given for her honor as if, you know, she's asking for herself. And a woman who works, and uh, a woman who has, you know, she's not given that kind of love and care and trust which housewives enjoy. So housewives are not given dignity and career women are not given trust and love. So I think we today as modern women are very conflicted. We, we have to decide between, um, you know, whether to choose either, you know, but I don't think it's, it's, um, it's any, you know, rational thinking because if tomorrow I choose to be, like today if I choose to raise a family, I would want respect and honor in return for my contribution. I'm not, I am investing the best years of my life into raising a family. So I need my respect along with care and love. And if I'm a career woman, I choose not to have babies and I choose not to have marriage or get married, not have babies or have babies, not get married. I still want the same kind of trust just because I can survive in cutthroat competition. Just because I can demolish people and rise like a phoenix doesn't mean I can't be trusted. Doesn't mean I can't be loved. Doesn't mean I'm not worthy of uh, mothering my offsprings. You know, it doesn't say none of this. So I think it, this book in a very romantic way, not in a harsh way, like I'm, I'm speaking like really matter of fact, but it's been put in a, in, in a story and I think I really appreciate this uh, saying important things than actually saying in your face. But uh, One, as a woman, have you ever Kalna, you know, I've had so many people launch books over the years and when you are speaking, it doesn't feel like I've got a Bollywood actor. It feels like I have an intellectual who is launching the book. So she's India's most beautiful intellectual, clearly. And uh, while it's totally up to you whether you want babies or not, it's your choice. But I hope you do because your babies will be so cute, especially if they have those curly hair. So please, I hope they come to the world soon and uh, I'm sure they will. Uh, but thank you once again. I think we'll just uh, do the formal launch once. Yeah. Sir, last question. Last Sir, question my okay. last question to Kangna is, Kangna, you have always stood for what's right. And recently Rakesh Roshan said that even when someone is spreading lies about him. Are uh, sir. This is no, not but, the place no, for that. No, but I want to know why can't Indian men stand up for themselves? He's a 43 year old son. Why his father has to come for his rescue always? No, for how long father? They will keep hiding behind their influential big names father. He's an adult. He can pretty much handle his own controversies in show business. It's just a simple controversy. Why daddies have to always, um, you know, save their sons? I don't understand this. Thank you very much, Kangana. All right, on that. Thank you very much, Chetan. Kindly come forward for.